Good morning students once again we are going to continue the same chapter flying together so this chapter's exercise number 1 we have done already now we are going to do the next exercise here we can see state whether the following statements are true or false so in this exercise we have to find out that these statements are true or false so now here the uh, statement number 1 the tree was the house of a flock of parrots so do you think that this statement is correct no what is not correct it is incorrect actually because the tree was the house of a flock of wild geese okay so here this statement is wrong so we have to write here false what we should write here false now the second one the wise old bird wanted the creeper to be destroyed and that statement is totally correct so we have to write here true clear students now the third number sentence the hunter climbed the tree with the help of a ladder so with the help of the ladder is this correct no because the hunter climbed up the tree with the help of the creeper so that statement is also wrong so we have to write here false now the fourth one when caught in the net the foolish birds begin to weep that's absolutely correct so here we have to write true now the next one fifth number the wise old bird helped them to escape that is also correct so that is true now on the next page page number 34 we have one paragraph and you have to listen that paragraph carefully the ant and the dove okay so here the ant actually it is not the ant because here the pronunciation of this word just after the the or the here we have first vowel sound so that's why we have to pronounce it the the ant and the dove so on his way home an ant saw a sparkling fountain sparkling means which is very bright which shines so much okay so there was a fountain and it was sparkling okay he crawled on to its wall to take a closer look and the ant and the ant what what he did actually it crawled crawled means actually it was just uh, moving on the wall of the fountain suddenly he slipped and fell into the water and suddenly what happened he slipped and fell into the water he gurgled and panicked and waved his legs in the air help i can't swim he cried and when he went inside the water when he felt into the water then he cried he panicked okay and he spoke that i can't swim luckily just at that moment a friendly dove flew by so here here you can see the picture of the dove so one dove which is one bird came there okay she saw that the tiny ant was droning and quickly flew to a nearby tree and uh, the dove quickly quickly flew nearby the tree she pulled off a leaf and let it glide down to the to the ant here you are she coiled and flew away okay 
so this is the paragraph based on this paragraph here we have some questions and we have to write their answers so the question number one why do you think the dog held the held the ant so answer i think the dog i think the dog was kind she took pity she took pity on the ant that's why she help the ant she help the ant how do you think the ant felt on finding the leaf so you should write your own answer here i'm just writing my answers if you will not write your own answer if you find difficulty to find your own answer then you can write these answers okay how do you think i think i think the sorry the ant felt happy on finding the leaf now the next one have you ever been in trouble like the like the ant did anyone help you so i am writing my experience you have to write your own experience if you don't have any experience then you can write this experience this answer clear one yes yes once i was riding a bicycle suddenly one boy came in front of in front of my bicycle and i took break i took break i fallen down on the ground on the ground i cried for help i cried for help a man came there and helped me so this is my experience you have to write your own experience so children i hope you have understood all these questions very well and you have to write all these questions and answers in your english coffee thank that's all for today bye for now